And what I have here is one that I did last night. And and you can see it's holding its shape. It's just basically the same thing as that. It's just a tissue paper tarp with the string and some gauze underneath. When it's at this stage, you remove those strings that you tied. It's not always the easiest thing because they're glued in place. And even if you don't completely remove them because of the piece that's in between the gauze and the tissue, but as you can see, almost like pulling a stitch out of a wound, I remove that. Because we don't want the string. We're going to put straps there later. But the dents where the straps are going to go remain. Alright, so you've seen the previous one, which is sitting there. It's fairly set up. You can go over this again with more coats of the water and glue mixture. Because inside here is still a bit fleshy and soft. You know, if you if you want to harden it up, you can saturate this underside. You know, this will only aid in its strength to make it harder, less susceptible to bends and kinks and such. It isn't quite necessary, but really doesn't hurt to give it a few coats. You know, once you're 100% satisfied and before you decide to paint it, You've also seen how we've made them, and this one is going to sit here, and as you can see, wow, that's already starting to get a little rigid. So we're going to let that sit for a little longer, and what I'm going to do, this is a in-progress half track that I'm doing, and I have some previously made stowage items that were done identically okay first I'll try to show you some of this this and a few of these packs and such are resin pieces but these three bed rolls and this canvas those are the same tissue paper and water method I'll take a quick picture of this or two so you can see it So what I'm going to do now on this particular vehicle, seeing as how that one's not ready yet, and this one really isn't either, but I can still show you how it's done, I'm going to show you how I put the straps to hold this uh, stowage down. I'm going to show you what I use to make the straps. Alright, so for making the straps to hold the gear down, one thing I use is the foil from a pack of cigarettes. Now, I am not condoning smoking at all. In fact, if you smoke, quit, because this stuff will kill you. I used to smoke, so that's how I found out about this stuff. But I no longer smoke, and I get this off a friend who does. Certain packs have certain types of foil. I'm not going to promote any particular brand, and you may actually even be able to find similar stuff wrapped around chewing gum or something. I'm not sure. But this has a texture to it, which, in my opinion, when cut into strips, resembles that of a canvas belt or strap. And that's why I use this. Not only that, but like the other things, it's free. So, you know, if you don't smoke, 
good for you, don't start. But if you see a pack of cigarettes lying on the street and you pick it up to throw it in the trash because somebody else decided to be a litter bug, take a look inside. If it's a textured uh, foil like this, then give it a shot because that's what I use. You can use other stuff. I've seen people use um, paper from, say, paper bags. I've seen people use lead foil for modeling. Paper bags are pretty good. They do have a texture to them. Lead foil doesn't really have a texture to it. Basically, all you're going to want to do is cut a few thin strips. A very sharp exacto blade is a necessity. In fact, right before you do this, you might as well put a brand new blade in. If it's even the slightest bit dull, it's going to grab the paper, drag it along. So basically what I do, real simple. You've got that laid out where it wants to go. You're going to tuck this in behind it. So it's, the end is well hidden. And you're just going to bend it around to where you want it. Take a rough measurement. Better to be big than too small. And you're going to cut it to that size. Once you've got it cut to size, tuck it back in there, bend it around, make sure you've got plenty, and then you can remove this all together. And you're just going to wrap it through where you have those molded dents in the stowage. And remember, this now is, is like plastic. It's hard as a rock. Well, not really a rock. It's hard as a tissue paper rock that's been soaked in white glue and water. But you're simply going to put that into the dents you want it fairly tight to the stowage. Remember, this is a strap that's not only holding it down, but it's causing those dents. So you don't want it to be floating off the surface in any way. You're going to take a little more of that mixture. And because this foil has a paper on the back side, you know, as I brush this in there, it's going to stick that paper side to the stowage side. leave the ends long and wild you're not actually going to trim the length to size until almost at the end of the build when you decide that this is weathered and painted to your liking and you're about to glue this on you are going to put it in place and simply Work the foil to the tie-down with the tip of your X-Acto. So it looks like this.